Now that your end wall columns have been placed, it's time to install your lower end wall girds. The lower end wall girds will be installed from the side wall girds to the end wall post or between end wall posts. It is important to note that in this example, we are using Worldwide Steel Building's web truss columns and roof trusses with 6-inch purlins on the roof and 3 and 5 8 inch girds on all walls. If your building kit has different components than noted, then the dimensions you will need to use may vary from this video. Please be sure to verify the dimensions against your W drawings. When installing girts along the end wall of your building, it is important to make sure that you have the correct girt for each location. Your W drawings and ship list will show you which girts should be used and where they should be placed in your building. On the galvanized secondary framing list, you will have the location or use for each secondary member. For the end wall girts, locate the necessary secondary members that indicate they are for FEW, front end wall, or REW, rear end wall, that pertain to the end wall you are working on. If the girts are identified only as girts at end walls, then these girts are used at both end walls. If you have an overhead door framed opening in your walls, then the length of the girts necessary to install will be shown on your W drawings. Refer to our overhead door framing installation video for additional information. It's a good idea to check the length of the girt prior to install. In our example here, each end wall section is 10 feet, 0 inches, and we have no overhead door openings in the walls. Therefore, we are using the girts that are 10 feet, 0 inches in length. Lift your girt into place. The end of your end wall girt will overlap on top of your side wall girt and will be flush with the side wall girt edges as shown here. Install four number 12 tech screws through the end wall girt and into the return leg of the side wall. The other end of your end wall girt will rest on the pre-welded girt clip on the end wall column. Because the end wall girt stops at the center of the end wall column, you are only required to install two number 12 tech screws as shown here. On most buildings, the slope or pitch of the roof is high enough that you will reach a point where the girts will need to be cut and installed or nested into the end wall track that rests underneath the roof purlins. Please proceed to the upper end wall girt installation video for your next steps. Thanks for choosing Worldwide Steel Buildings. Got questions? Give us a call at 1-800-825-0316 or visit our website at worldwidesteelbuildings.com.